Hello everyone, Dr. Jeff Galini here and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths, bringing you the truth. Hey, I got a good uh, message from a gentleman called Jim Tucker. This is an oldie but a goodie. And what I mean by oldie is this has uh, rose its head several times over the last 15 years. Um, Jim goes on to say, Dr. Jeff, I came across this guy on YouTube talking about instantized creatine being the best of the best. He went on to claim that if the creatine isn't instant, it's not going to be absorbed. His creatine uh, pumps into the muscles better. You're going to get better results. Um, it's soluble. Um, it's going to upload to muscles. You don't have any side effects. And his claims go on and on and on. I know you're the creatine expert. What's your thoughts? Well, now, <laughs> if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Solubility has nothing, zero, niche to do with absorption. And anyone with a seventh grade science background will know that. Soluble means nothing more than it will go into solution. Now, first of all, you know, let's debunk uh, whatever uh, you saw from somebody on YouTube. All creatine is soluble. Newsflash. Um, I love it. Uh, you know, years ago it was the creatine HCL guys. Now it's some of these jokers with, you know, my creatine is instant. All creatine is soluble up to like 34 milligrams per milliliter, which is like eight grams per eight ounces. Come on. If you're taking more than eight grams, you're wasting your money. Um, so again, to say that, you know, instantized creatine is better, again, it's a joke. I went and looked at the video and again, you know, I, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about the who, what, where, and how other than uh, everything the gentleman was saying was false. Uh, you know, it's not true. So again, Creatine monohydrate is soluble. That's the fact, Jack. Crealkaline is soluble. Instant creatine is soluble. Creatine HCL, creatine HKG, creatine nitrate, creatine, whatever you want to call it, is all soluble in water. Now, the gentleman went on to claim that his creatine had no psi effects. Pooey. Creatine monohydrate is not stable. If anything, he is increasing that conversion to creatinine because he had to sit there and stir it to make the solution go clear. Well, you can stir any creatine and it will go clear. I mean, you know, it started out white. Um, you're just agitating. Put a little uh, fruit juice in there, man, and you will really uh, increase that conversion to creatinine. So again, creatine monohydrate, I don't care whether it's instant, I don't care whether it's micronized, non-instant, HCL, anything creatine is going to convert to creatinine. Creatinine is a bile waste, therefore you're going to have side effects. He went on to say no loading, but then you had to take five grams of his product. So uh, way too much. So again, you know, solubility has nothing to do with uploading to the muscle. And that's another claim that uh, this gentleman was making completely false. He has no scientific data um, to prove that his creatine is uploading faster to the muscle. The other thing I thought it was interesting was it was selling for $13 for 500 grams. All the creatine comes out of China and right now the price is through the roof. So I can guarantee it's probably fake or cut. Yes, I do have some coming and I will be testing it and I will later um, give you the results of what I come up with. But I have a big hunch that we're going to be um, not surprised that it ain't all that it's cut out to be. So again, don't be deceived by all these flashy young guys on YouTube making all these, you know, outrageous claims because they're false. We're not allowed to make claims as a dietary supplement. So hopefully the uh, FDA will come down on him uh, for making such claims. So, in closing, solubility has nothing to do with absorption. Solubility has nothing to do with uploading creatine. 
into the muscles. Solubility has nothing to do with the price of rice. What's important is stability, and Curialkin is still the world's only patented stable creatine. My claims are still the same. Others have copied. No loading, no bloating, no side effects. All right, uh, my friend, I hope that helps. I kind of rambled on a little bit about this solubility thing, but I'm actually going to go and do a lab gab. I'll be in the lab, and I'm going to actually mix all these things up and show you um, the difference in solubility, and you're going to find they're all the same. All right, everybody, take care. God bless.